Hello, and welcome back to another Overthrow Disc Golf Disc Review. Today, we're really excited because we have the Watt, and uh, of course, can't do the name of the actual disc, so we got our boy Sparky here, and I gotta tell you, extremely excited for this disc review. We really like this disc a lot, and it fits in each of our bags here at Overthrow. So, how did it make it into all three of our bags? You're about to find out. But first, let's look at some of the tech specs on the Watt. Just as a heads up, we have a very limited supply of these things. So chances are by the time you watch this video, uh, you probably will not have the opportunity to buy one. But if you're within the first 6,000 views, it's probably your lucky day and we will have it in stock for you. You just never know with these things. All we know is that you guys like these designs and they sell extremely quick. All right, for you nerds, we're now moving over to the technical specs for the disc. Taking a look on trydiscs.com, it looks like we have on our hands a two-speed, five glide, negative 0.5 turn, and 0.5 fade. I'm going to refrain from showing any similar discs because as Josh will let you know later on in the video, there really aren't any similar discs to the Watt. But if I had to give my opinion, the Proxy is on this list and spoiler alert, I basically say later on in this video that this is a better Proxy. Going into further detail for you really nerdy people, the diameter is 21.2 centimeters. The height is 1.8 centimeters. The rim depth is 1.5 centimeters. The rim width is 1.1 centimeters. And last but not least, does it have a bead? No, it does not. So without, what the heck? How'd you guys get back there? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, without further ado, let's get throwing this bad boy.
So this disc is what I'd hoped the glitch was gonna be for me. Uh, super straight, pretty glidey, uh, but I like the fact that this is not quite as deep as the glitch, which I struggled with a ton. Uh, the depth was just, didn't feel comfortable, and the rim being a little wider feels better in my hand overall. Here at 18, I need to keep this thing low and straight. There's a back door you can squeeze around in, and if I can get this to get to either of those lanes, I trust the stability of this a little bit to bring it back to circle one and make an easy putt. Here we go, we got this. That's too high, but it might be fine. No. Oh! It tried to <laughs> off the kick. Oh my so, definitely kept that a little higher than I wanted it to, but the fact that it was a little nose up was able to stall it out enough to drop below those branches and still keep straight, even nose up. So I ended up, I would have been probably 20 feet left. I ended up probably being 10 feet out because of the tree kick. Let's go put it. Let's go put it in. Let's go put it in. You know, probably the same distance away on the other side, but trees allowed me to go uphill which I like, put it in the birdie. This is a great disc. This is exactly what I want in a, in a throwing putter. So, and it's beautiful. I mean, oh, shut up. Hey, shut up. Oh, boy, dude, it's oh. so beautiful. All right, guys, my use case for this disc is to stare at it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. What I really like about this disc is I had an OT Peroxy for a long time and I lost it and I was really sad, but no longer am I sad because when we got these, I didn't know what to expect. But this to me feels like a better proxy. I'm here at Sandusky hole something. I'm here at Sandusky hole 12. And I always, I mean, 50, at least 50% of the time, I'm off the fairway to the left, right around here. And almost all of the time I have to throw around a tree forehand. And I want something that is at least somewhat stable enough to where by the time it lands, it's flat to the ground. Uh, but I need it to pan and go straight. Uh, and that's, that's always why I ended up going for the proxy. But this thing's got a flatter top. So for me, it feels even better than the proxy. And I can see myself throwing this on most up shots uh, on the forehand side. That was perfect. I love it so much. I love that. I love it so much. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> one shot is all it takes. One shot, one heart, one soul in the basket, chains. So, so yeah, probably not the best putting putter, but at the same time, like Dakota made his, so if you want to, it's whatever, but, uh, Forehand monster for me. This thing's gonna be a forehand monster for me. <laughs>
so putter's good there. Um, and downhill, but also we have um, a little bit of a ceiling to work with. This hole's so interesting for me because uh, I'm back and forth between putters and mids because sometimes the mid, if you get the angle off or like the mind bender, it's gonna turn a little bit. So you have to be really good with your angle control with faster discs. And then sometimes you have to challenge the height a little bit more with the putter. So I'm gonna show you all three and I'm gonna try to show you the height differences that I have to throw to get the disc to land in the same spot and then pay attention to the drift. Yeah, the angle just was barely off. That's why putter's good here. Yep, this for this hole. All right, let's check them out. So you saw how high I had to push the glitch and uh, I still ended up short, even though I felt like I threw it very well. Um, so because it has to use so much height and it's a little bit slower, it's like, okay, you gotta hit it really good. The mind bender is there, left of it. My angle was just a little bit off, right? So I had, I hyzered out too early. That's kind of what you get with the mid is it's easier to get it down here. Didn't have to work so hard to get it down here, but angle control has to be that much better. And then here's the watt, just a little bit left of it. The speed was perfect. I think the concept of kind of a tweener disc speaks for itself, right? why we don't go from eight speed to 12 speed, right? Because you get left, less left and right movement. This disc is gonna hold a line. So anywhere that you need it to just hold a line and not pop out of it at the end, you just need it to push. This is an option if you've got the distance for it. Um, other use cases, anytime you're on a tee box, it's like, okay, is this a putter or is this a mid? Well, maybe it's uh, a faster putter, even though it's only a two speed. To me, it doesn't feel like a putter, doesn't feel like a mid. So anytime I'm in between, okay, is this putter or mid, like on this hole, um, I'm gonna consider the watt right away. Um, anytime I need to have the hold of most putters, uh, but with the speed of something a little faster, I'm gonna go to the watt. Super easy to manipulate. Uh, the angle control, I like messing with angle control, nose angle. Um, release angle and all that is pretty decent um, for the most part. So I'm gonna be using this a lot.